Scorpio. So I'm getting ready to do your reading and I hear For Whom the Bell Tolls. And I know that's a novel by Ernest Hemingway, but it didn't really seem to fit. So I Googled it and it's a Metallica song, which I don't really listen to Metallica, so I didn't know. But I'm reading the lyrics and the lyrics that are catching my eye, which is so scorpionic to me, is um, take a look to the sky just before you die. It is the last time you will. Blackened roar, massive roar, fills the crumbling sky. Shattered goal fills his soul with a ruthless cry. Stranger now are his eyes to this mystery. He hears the silence so loud. Crack of dawn, all is gone except the will to be. Now they will see what will be, blinded eyes to see. For whom the bell tolls, time marches on. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that's so important for your message. Um, maybe you already have, I'm, here, I'm seeing also here, uh, stiffened wounds test their pride. Men of five still alive through the raging glow, gone insane from the pain that they surely know. Like this does resonate with the book, but the, there's something here. I feel like there's someone that you were dealing with. I know, but I'm feeling that. Um, who's not doing so well. Okay, I feel like they're having a tower moment is what it feels like. And it's like your higher self is watching this happen and <laughs> like ringing a bell, like this judgment day or something. I don't know, it seems really dramatic, but let's get into the message and see, <laughs> see what's going on. I decided to use the Deviant Moon Tarot. Uh, so we'll do a general spread. Queen of Swords and Justice. See what I mean? Like for whom the bell tolls. Like, yeah, this seems like almost like justice that you're receiving on some level. Now, I don't know if this is something that you're going to witness play out in the 3D or if it's just energy you're feeling or what's going on. I'm hearing lifetimes. Maybe this is something that's, uh, I don't know. You've had past lifetimes with this person or with this energy. I don't know, I don't know who this is. Maybe it's a group of people who did you wrong. And it could be that they, it could be that you weren't even done wrong, but you've witnessed this person or these people create some injustice in some sense somewhere. So we'll get into it, but take it as it resonates. <laughs> if it does resonate this message, then there will be an extended. You can find that link in the description box below. If it doesn't and it's not for you, that's totally cool. It's just not your message. I'm hearing it all as well <laughs> and all is well, okay? So yeah, I still feel like all is well for you. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm looking at the lyrics as I'm talking to you and I'm seeing constant chill deep inside. Yeah, I feel like this person has a constant chill and it's somehow you're involved in this, like, um, it's related to, to you in some way. Mm. Four of Cups and yeah, Four of Swords. I feel like you buried something, okay, metaphorically, <laughs> I feel. Or maybe you literally, I don't know, but you buried something here. Or maybe you should bury something like as a sort of kind of, I'm hearing peace offering. Okay, I was going to say as a sort of like letting go. But you put something to rest here. Like you really dropped something. And it's like when you did that, put this to rest or drop something, it's like I'm hearing like, I'm, well, this is a beautiful little ding. But it's kind of like ding, ding, you know, the bell tolling. It's ominous in a way. It's like the moment... <laughs> I love you, Scorpio. You get so dramatic with me. But it's like the sky is <laughs> go, breaks open. It's like ding, ding, judgment day because Scorpio decided to release. Now, if you're a cross watcher, this could be for you. We all have Scorpio in our chart, okay? Let's see. <laughs> Let's get a message for Scorpio. <laughs> Spirit guides. Scorpio. This could even be like a whole bunch of people. Yeah, I said that, right? A group. 
Five of Swords. Seven of Swords in reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Nine of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. And the Empress is your outcome. Let's see about this. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. Judgment. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't know. How do I say this message? I, I have a feeling it's going to sound so much more dramatic maybe than it is. But maybe that's what you need to know. Because it does feel dramatic to someone else. It's like for a long time you've been riding, you've been maybe energetically riding towards this judgment day. You know, it's like here, get in your car or your boat or your float <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'm going to go to the show. We're going to the show and it's a long road trip. It's going to take a long time to get there, but I know it's going to be worth it because I got my ticket here. I got a backstage pass, got front row seats and a backstage pass and I'm really going to see the show. So I'll make the journey. Then you get there and it's like everything that you expected. Like this even looks like a concert to me. And it's interesting starting with like a, a band and the lyrics. Yeah. And I asked about this other person's energy. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. I'm hearing they didn't let something go in time. They didn't walk away. They chose their karma. They chose their fate with something. King of Cups and Death. And of course, this is you, the Death card. And look at this Death card. It's like stomping something out here. There's somebody or something that is invested in you or something you represent, something you do. This could be about anything. So, you know, take it however it works for you. But this person has some kind of investment in your energy. And they won't leave it alone. And it's like they were given an opportunity to let it go. Knight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. To let it go, maybe to shut up. I'm here to shut <laughs> to shut up, to not talk anymore, or, or to let something go. And for some reason, they didn't. Why, why not? Eight of Pentacles and Two of Cups. Because they worked really hard on something. They put a lot of effort into your connection or invested into your energy I feel like Scorpio there's somebody here who's upset with you on some level why are they upset because you like you decided something before they could so maybe you left someone before they left you or maybe you quit before someone fired you or maybe you decided to ascend before somebody else worked through their own shit. I don't know, but it's like you you picked a path. And it's almost like this person um, is shocked by that or was under some impression that they could pick a path for you. And they can't leave that alone. Strength in reverse. They underestimated you in some way here, the magician. Yeah, see? It's like they were trying to puppeteer something, trying to make something happen. I don't know. I mean, I know I... Uh, let's get into the general reading. Because... It's not like I'm here to demonize this person or anything like that. But the energy seems so, so strong. Like, maybe this is you. Maybe it's like, I don't care really anymore what happens to this person or, you know, I wish the best for them or whatever. Yeah, I'm hearing let go and let God. And now you're being privy to this concert in which they have to, you know, 
pay up, I'm hearing, or answer to something or someone or something happens here that's shocking to them and and you're like, oh, I'm not trying to see something bad happen, but I got front row seats and a backstage pass. <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Your energy is the five of swords. See, it's like you sticking your tongue out here, like looking backwards, like, you know, I feel like you won in, in some way or another over, over somebody else who, see the white flag. It's like you won by raising the white flag, by saying, you know, I surrender. I surrender. You know, I'm going to walk my own path. I want nothing to do with this anymore. I'm just surrendering here. And it's like you blocked some some mental energy that was feeding the situation. You blocked that out and you decided you would take the rest of the swords, the three swords, your pain, and just keep going. And yeah, maybe you looked back and stuck out your tongue a little bit here. But I feel like all in all it was good because you did raise the white flag. I don't feel like this is them doing it because it's showing me they won't let go. So I feel like you surrendered. Okay, I'm hearing, but you're not going to go out like a clown. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about this, spirit guides. Antidote and rat. <laughs> yeah, you figured out the answer, the antidote to this energy that was plaguing you with the rat uh, was to just surrender, I feel. I feel like uh, for some reason, you it, it's interesting. It's almost like it calmed this person. And it, it gave them the opportunity to release as well, but they didn't take it. And now they got a... It's like they didn't... They hurt themselves, basically, in a way. They were running away from something, their own pain, gone insane from the pain that they surely know. It's a lyric there. As they couldn't resolve their pain in some way, in time. I can't, it's like it was time sensitive here. Okay, so what's going to surprise you is the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm hearing feed being a bunch of lies and the mirror card is coming out. I feel like this person, um, hold on a second before I say that. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like, um, I wanna say, but I keep hesitating. I wanna say that this person um, fed you a bunch of lies or like made you believe that you were dishonest in some way or you were man manipulative or that you were hiding some something but really it was just like everything they said was a mirror like you know for what they were doing and it's I don't know why that's so surprising to you now but you're surprised by how much they showed of themselves in their actions. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse, Spirit Guides. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. I'm hearing um, something's going to be turned around. The Devil. Yeah. And then I'm seeing the Five of Cups poke out. I feel like this person has some kind of um, shit going on with them in their head or these people or whoever where they feel like they're constantly being chastised or they feel ridiculed or they feel uh, criticized or looked down upon in some way. And I feel like they try to do this to other people. Their shadow does this to other people. 
as a way to kind of resolve those feelings within them, get them to ignore the pain that they suffered from this feeling or that they suffer from this feeling of being told what to do or being told they're a bad person or whatever the case is. So they, they kind of flip the script on people. And I feel like this person is the bell tolling is like they need to now have a revelation of, of their truth. Like a personal truth is coming out. They're going to have to face themselves in the mirror. The lies they told, I'm hearing the lies they sold. Maybe we're talking about a company. I don't know. But they're going to realize that the way they acted was coming from this insecure, shallow, shadow, unhealed place. And, you know, having that kind of revelation and hearing the bell toll like that is not fun. It's not easy. It is a tower moment. And, you know, like I don't envy anybody who gets an awakening like that. But it feels like it's necessary for this person. It's interesting. See, Leo is dealing with a difficult energy, but it's like there's no awakening there. Like that, for that energy, they're just going to kind of continue on doing what they're doing. For you, it's like this person doesn't have the option of closing their eyes and being blind. Did that come up in the lyrics? Something about being blind? I thought I saw that. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah. What? Stranger now are his eyes to this mystery. He hears the silence so loud. Yeah, crack of dawn, all is gone except the will to be. Now they see what will be, blinded eyes to see. So whatever they were refusing to see about themselves before, their own devil energy. Um, and, you know, this person could have relished the fact that they were a little mis mischievous or maybe they enjoyed that kind of side i don't know possibly but they're gonna actually see <laughs> the problem with that um, and how it hurts themselves i'm hearing inner wounding so they're gonna be able to see something now they have to see something now justice okay uh, uh, justice judgment i meant to say though okay let's see what's beginning knight of pentacles or no, this is what's ending, sorry. Maybe it's ending and beginning. The long, like a long process here. Perseverance. Hmm, let's find out some more. What is this ending, Knight of Pentacles? Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is... One, waiting for something to change. And two, uh, trying to get something to change in a certain way. It's like this person held on because they didn't want to face their karma or face their fate. Uh, but holding on was exactly what they shouldn't have done. Is that making sense? Is this making sense? <laughs> Look at the Wheel of Fortune here. We have like a broken heart at the top which is like where something would stop, right? And this, this person's like, oh my God, my fortune is a broken heart. After all this time, after all this planning and strategizing and everything. Yeah, so I feel like trying to escape cause and effect, you know, is coming to an end. What's beginning for you? I feel like this is for them. And what's beginning for you is the nine of wands in reverse it's actually like giving up on something you know being exhausted at the point of really no return like i'm not going to continue on with this battle tell me more about the nine of wands in reverse for scorpio <laughs> the scrouge screw is that how you say it it's like whipping yourself right <laughs> it's like beating yourself for something that happened and or like sitting in the tension or bearing the brunt or doing all of that inner shadow work on yourself uh, but maybe trying to undo someone else's shadow in the process what i don't know it's like you did the work necessary 
but in a way you were also trying to get this person out of their karmic fate maybe this is even energetically like trying to figure out how like maybe what was going on with them or why things turned out in the way they did we could be talking about like a group of people who just have this weird conception of something and you were trying to like help them see things in a different way and they just wouldn't it could be that you know but I feel like you're not going to beat yourself up over this anymore. So what's beginning though? Like it's interesting how those two energies are kind of talking about endings. Six of wands. You're victorious. Uh, uh I'm hearing you take the stage. You take the say stage page of swords and everybody's looking at you in a positive way. Six of Wands in the upright. Somebody sees your victory here. And what's what? Ten of Pentacles and the star. Damn, Scorpio. <laughs> this is amazing. The healing work you did pays off in a big way. Long term. Solid. Grounded. It could just be beginning for you or maybe it's already settled in. But... This is immediately apparent to anybody who comes across you. This could even just be coming across in your energy. I'm not saying you have to have like a, I'm hearing a fat bank account, which I never say that. Okay, but a fat bank account, I'm not saying that's what this is necessarily. It could be, but it's something about your energy, right? It's something about what you've done that people can see that you've, uh, you've gone through something and you've healed something. I feel like there's immediate success here for you you played your cards right i'm hearing you folded white flag you folded yeah see i feel like actually this is you under here it's like while other people were playing games trying to win you know, against each other's egos or like trying to play some game. I don't know, you and them, them and other people. I don't know. You decided, actually, I'm going to look at what, what I'm actually doing. What am I playing with here? Well, actually, it's a piece of myself and I don't want to risk that. Nobody's going to checkmate me because I'm not playing anymore. And it was hard. It was tough. You know, you carried this game on your back, so to speak, like you, you processed it, you went through it. You waited till something played out, maybe. But ultimately, you decided not not to go this route with this energy or with these people. And that was the best decision you ever could have made. I'm <laughs> hearing Scorpio. All right. I really like this reading. It seems very definitive which, you know, I try to keep things a little bit loose, but hey, if it's good, why not? Okay, so the Ten of Wands in reverse for your advice. You can drop the energy that's being taken care of. <laughs> I'm seeing the lyrics, yeah, yeah, you heard the man, and I feel like that's like the judgment, you know? It's like, Oh, it's interesting. They're giving me the lyrics here, I guess, for when they were live somewhere because it says, okay, Mexico City, let's go together, man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, so this must be a live concert. Interesting. And then um, it says, yeah, yeah, you heard the man from the album Ride the Lightning. And I feel like that's what you did is you rode the lightning. You know, you rode that tower experience. You, you went through it all and you can drop the energy now. Let's see, for advice for Scorpio, hat and a coin. <laughs> you can wear the hat of success now. I feel like you are finally finding the right hat. You know, you're finally finding the right fit for you. What feels good for you. Yeah, I feel like that's the message. I'm seeing the coin as the Ace of Pentacles here. You've manifested something here coming into your life. Uh, but Spirit's still saying you need to drop some of this weight here. If you feel like you're carrying it. Maybe not all of you do. 
Yeah. Okay. The Empress for what you can manifest in the next three months. <laughs> Look at her. She's on the chessboard there. It's like, you know, no games are going to be played unless you allow it. This is interesting. See, it's like you looking at this piece that was on the chessboard way back then, you know, and realizing that, hey, somebody's playing with me. Someone's playing with my empress energy, not gender specific. So you decided not to allow someone to play with that energy. And now you manifest that energy back into yourself. Like you reclaim it. You're the only piece on the board. <laughs> The skull, yeah, Scorpio, <laughs> 13, <laughs> reminds me of death, right? The cauldron, you transform, you reclaim your power. I'm seeing uh, Venus and Scorpio here could be a placement for you, or Venus in the eighth house, or Taurus in the eighth house, or Libra in the eighth house, but anyways, it doesn't really matter about all that. The point is, you've transformed here, and you've reclaimed your power. Awesome. Should we even do an extended? I don't know. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> the tower. <laughs> you want to know what's going on <laughs> with this person? I guess. I mean, I, I was trying to focus the reading on you, but there was a lot coming up for this person. Okay, so we'll go into the extended for those of you who want to get the front row seat and the backstage pass. <laughs> and we'll have a look at what this tower moment means for this person. Now, when we look at it, it's not to like relish in that energy. That's not good to do, right? But if you have a curiosity and you are being given access to see that, then that's okay, right? Just as long as you stay in your Empress energy. Okay, I love you so much. Links in the description box below. But if this is where you go, I'll see you next time.